All right, well, we're here in Hufalese for uh, the second round of the World Cup 2010, and Hufalese is a pretty traditional course. It's been on the circuit forever, and this year they've changed up the course quite a bit. We used to maybe go through three different sections of town, and now we pretty much stay on one side of town, up and down an area where the four-cross course is also run, and traditionally Hufalese has a lot of spectators kind of spread out through the whole course. So with this tighter, more condensed course, I think it's going to be pretty cool for the uh, spectators. You know, we're here in Belgium and a lot of times Belgium is known for its crappy weather. And the past few years at Hoofelis, we've had, you know, rain threatening, but it's been fairly dry. We've had, a you know, a little bit of moisture, but this year it's been great weather leading up to the race and they're talking about, you know, it's supposed to rain yesterday, it's supposed to rain today, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, but so far we've lucked out. We'll have to wait and see tomorrow. Either way, the course is, you know, it's a short lap, less than 15 minutes. It's a 5K loop. And it's really dusty right now, so some rain would be good. It actually make the course better, but um, who knows? We'll have to wait and see. It's been pretty good to me. I've always had good races here. I've always been very fond of the course. It's always been pretty similar. For this year, uh, they decided to switch it up a little bit and made it quite a bit shorter. Um, we still do quite a bit of the old course, um, but yeah, they also decided to use the steep side for that. So we have a lot of climbing this week. Um, we go up the same hill. I think it's three times, and uh, you know, in the past, the hardest climb went up there once. So it's going to be a really tough race and you know, it's a lot of fresh grass and in my experience when you get wet grass like that and you have 300 riders racing around at a couple of laps, it's going to turn into a quagmire and uh, I can see us doing a lot of running if it rains a lot tomorrow. Yeah, 26 inch bike, um, I rode the 29er out there this week but uh, for me, um, personal opinion is on the, the steeper climbs I prefer the 26, it just feels a lot livelier under acceleration. Um, especially over the top of those steep climbs, so for me it feels good. 29er, I think, you know, I've been riding it two or three weeks now, it's, it's really good at holding momentum and, and keeping speed, so, you know, last weekend's course was perfect for the 29er, this weekend 26. For me it's not a thing where it's either the 26 or the 29, I think it's good to have both bikes, um, so I have the correct tool for, for every weekend. It was very dusty the last few days and now with the rain I think it's gonna be slippery on the top but the ground's still still quite hard so if it stops raining then uh, intermediate tire is gonna be the decision to go but if it keeps on raining uh, it's gonna get deeper for sure it's a hard decision uh, I'm gonna go out on the course to check a few sections the very steep sections just to see how how it looks and then I come back and we're gonna change the tires just about 20 minutes to the start. Huh? I hope it's it's not gonna be pissing down. And uh, I think we have very good tires <coughs> set up. Um, my right front and rear south wind, or put the spike, the storm on in the front. Yeah. Uh, depends how much uh, still gonna rain. Plus also uh, how the women race gonna be. So we'll check out their bikes for sure.
race started off a little rough. Some guy crashed on the start right on the front line. I was behind him. So maybe two or three rows past me right at the start line and then uh, another guy crashed in my bike and stuck his crank in my rear wheel. Not just his pedal but the whole crank. So I got that out and I came through the start maybe 40th which isn't that bad considering all the things that were going on out there but and I just kind of slowly made my way back up through the race. I'm not even sure how I ended up in the 20s somewhere, low 20s maybe. Right. Yeah, when I was in the room, uh, it looked like it's going to be a dry race, and I was super excited coming here to the, walking to the to the pits. I think oh, I think it's not going to happen. As soon as I arrived, the rain came down, so tire change back on the intermediate wet tires. The Souser wind was great performance uh, from A to Z. I didn't want it. To have any other tire was was awesome. Um, the start, my start was not awesome at all, uh, but it wasn't really my fault. Uh, Kulavi in front of me, he just uh, didn't slip off the pedal, crashed, boom down. And I'm also not a, well known as the best starter, so I lost so much. Uh, the first lap was incredible, two minutes. God, amazing, amazing legs. I, I caught, caught up, caught up, passed probably 30 riders and. Finally, uh, almost rode for top five, but uh, yeah, 